We'd like to dedicate the first step of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. More than half a century ago, Apollo 17 astronaut Gene Cernan was the last human to walk on the moon. We leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return. After all this time, after all these decades have come and gone, the U.S. Space Agency is closing in on a return, and this time with a promise to stay. Artemis 1, the uncrewed mission last November that sent the Orion spacecraft around the moon and back to Earth, was, NASA says, a resounding success. It wasn't perfect. The heat shield that will protect astronauts from the 5,000 degree temperatures of re-entry sustained a bit more damage than expected, but it's not a showstopper. So all eyes now turn to Artemis 2. Four astronauts, three Americans and a Canadian, will, if all continues on track, orbit the moon in less than two years. So who will they be? Who will retrace the steps of the Apollo 8 crew, the first men to orbit the moon back in 1968? NASA has cloaked their names in a shroud of secrecy, but that will soon change. The announcement, NASA says, will take place on April 3rd. Right now, who the four might be is all speculation. But there are two names that keep coming up. Reed Weissman, a Navy commander and test pilot, flew to the International Space Station in 2014. We trained for two and a half years for, the, for our work on the space station, but as soon as you come on board, the one thing that we never were able to train for is that lack of gravity. And as soon as you come through the hatch, your world is completely upside down and backwards. Weissman also performed two spacewalks during his time on station. I don't like that pattern going over my head like that, so let me get that sorted out for a minute. Weissman later became head of the astronaut office in Houston. But by rule, you can't fly if you're the head guy. He stepped down, fueling more speculation that he will be tapped to command Artemis II. The other name, Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen. There is a bit of perhaps coincidence here. Back in 2020, at a ceremony in Houston where NASA graduated its first class of 13 Artemis generation astronauts, there was Hansen speaking to them and the crowd. I have to tell you that Canada truly appreciates American space leadership. You have, you have set big goals, and by setting those big goals and inviting the international partners to participate, we have accomplished incredible things together. And Reed Weissman was there too. But again, that's just coincidence, and this is just speculation. And no one outside of NASA has a clue who else might occupy Orion's seats. The space agency released a series of 18 short videos where astronauts talked about their accomplishments, dreams, and aspirations. Some, like Kate Rubens, have already flown. Studying microbiology on station is very similar to the Earth, except for you're floating. You may be doing the same experiment, but you're conducting it on the ceiling because that's a convenient place to work. We're studying things like sequencing DNA, what happens to the human body in space, and even viruses are an issue in space. Victor Glover has also flown as pilot of the first operational SpaceX Crew Dragon to fly to the ISS. I have fantasized about stepping on the moon. It's my dream. My dream is to work on the surface of the moon. And being able to launch humans from American soil is a very big part of that. And there are those who have never flown, like Kayla Barron, a member of that graduating class of 2020. All right, NASA family and friends, our first astronaut, Kayla Barron. I think the thing that's most important to me is just the inspiration of exploration. I think we all have this innate sense to explore. So now we wait. Whoever the four chosen are, their lives will be forever changed. They will be the crew that again takes NASA to the moon's doorstep. For my radar, I'm John Zarella.
Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.